Let's take a look at a couple application problems. Now these are word problems that we're going to solve by using a linear equation in one variable. I know you've heard it before, but the first step is to read the problem carefully. I can't emphasize that enough. It really is important to familiarize yourself with it to be able to understand and explain the problem in your own words. Do you know specifically what you're looking for? Do you know what all you have been given in order to find that answer? So read carefully. We want to rent a rug cleaner. Company A rents the machine for $22 plus $6 per hour. Company B rents the same machine for $28 plus $4 per hour. After how many hours of use will the total amount spent at each company be the same? What will the total amount be? Okay, so we're doing some rug cleaning. We have two choices of companies. Company A is cheaper right out of the you know, right off the bat because it's only $22 to do the renting versus the 28 at company B. But the thing is company A charges $6 an hour, which is more than company B only charging $4 an hour. So if I have a really long project, there will probably come a point at which company B is actually more cost effective for me. So in this problem, I want to figure out when will the two prices be equivalent and that will tell me, you know, estimating how long my job would be where uh, I should go to get the machine. Okay, so first off, what am I looking for? I'm looking for how many hours of use so that the cost is the same. So my variable is going to be based on what it is I'm looking for, uh, what I'm told to find. So I'm going to write this down so I remember what it stands for and somebody else looking at my work can understand. X is the number of hours rented, right? So how many hours have we had this machine? Now what we're doing is we're comparing company A's cost to company B's cost, right? So kind of just in words, I'm visualizing, I, I got to set this up so that these two things are equal. How does company A charge me? Well, it says right here in the problem, $22 plus $6 for every hour. So if I rented for one hour, I'd be 22 plus six. If I rented for two hours, well, I'd have to do six times two and then add that to 22. If I rented for five hours, well, six times five and add that to 22. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that hourly rate times the number of hours. Now I don't really know the number of hours. I'm calling that X. So this is what my equation would look like. For company A, 22 plus six X. I wanna know when is that equal to company B, which we could represent by the 28, plus this time four times X. So it's $4 for every hour. X represents the total number of hours we're renting. Now we've solved linear equations in another uh, video. So hopefully you remember that in this case, you would go ahead and subtract the four X from both sides, right? So we'll go ahead and write that in there. Subtract the four X, subtract the four X, and at the same time, I could subtract the 22 to move the numbers over to the right-hand side. That would leave me with the 2x equals 6. Then to isolate and get the x by itself, we would divide both sides through by 2, and I'd get my answer of x equals 3. So how many hours are we renting? 3 hours. Okay? But then it says, all right, tell me what the total amount would be. So if we rented for three hours, what would the cost be? Well, thinking about how we set this equation up, we said that the cost was 22 plus six times the hours, or we could have used B, 28 plus four times the hours. I just chose the first one. 22 plus six times three would give me 22 plus 18 for a total cost of $40. Let's take a look at just one more application problem. It's similar, but it involves percents, so I think it's a good little variation. Membership in the Savers Club is $5 a month and provides you with a 10% discount on your purchases at Piggly Wiggly. How much money would you have to spend each month at the Piggly Wiggly to make that Savers Club program a good deal for you? You know, if you only run in there on a very slight occasion to pick up some milk or something, this might not be worth it to you because you're saving 10%, which is great, but you're also paying extra $5 out of pocket, right? So I can pay a little bit of money and get a discount card, 
or I could just pay outright. Those are my choices. Again, what's the first thing I do? I define my variable. Well, what am I trying to find? It says, how much money would you spend each month to make this a good deal? So X is gonna be the amount spent each month. So what's my grocery bill? Then I wanna compare. This time I wanna compare Savers Club to not having the Savers Club. And specifically, if it says to make it a good deal, well, usually it's spending less money is a good deal. So I'm saying with the Savers Club is less than without the Savers Club. All right, so Savers Club, notice how I wrote this, $5, because that's what I pay outright for it, plus X, so I'm paying the $5 no matter if I ever shop there or not, plus X, which is what I spend on my groceries, but look at this, it's minus the 0.10x because it says I have a 10% discount. So 10% discount means 10% of what I spent and that word of means I'm multiplying. So 0 0.10 times x. So I'm gonna combine those uh, terms, those like terms there on the left and x, which is one x, minus 0.1 is gonna give me 0.90x. Okay, so another way of reading this would be you're paying $5 plus 90% of whatever your normal grocery bill would be. And we wanna know when is this less than just plain old X, just, just paying for the groceries outright. Well, we know how to solve equations, right? We would subtract the 0.90X on both sides. So let me go ahead and put that in there just so you remember where that came from. And then I'm simplifying, I've got five is less than uh, 0.10x. Well, just as we have done before, we're gonna divide by 0 0.10 and simplify this to get my final answer down here of 50. So this is saying 50 is less than x. Or remember, you can rewrite that and say x is greater than 50. What does x stand for? The amount spent. So how much money would you have to spend to make uh, the Savers Club a good deal for you at the Piggly Wiggly? Well, you'd have to plan to spend more than $50 a month in groceries. If you do, then it's definitely worth that $5 club fee. Let me know if you have questions.